So guys, today back from a video on the channel today, I'll be looking at players in the Coven squad who aren't getting enough game time. There is two players in the squad now who are getting benched and deserve a start, and there's a player who's injured at the moment who is going to be hard for him to get back on the side. So before I start off the video, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and uh, we're going to be starting off the video talking about Yoshinori Muto. So starting off with Yoshinori Muto, we signed him in the summer. He has shown spells, some games he hasn't been the greatest, but uh, we haven't given him enough game time and with all the games coming up thick and fast uh, near the end of the year, it's going to be tough for like Rondon to play every single game. And like a player like Muto, who can change the game by working hard and with his talent, he can maybe do something, but we haven't really given him a shot. He started his first game of the club with a uh, league game against Manchester United, he scored and had a really, really good game. Uh, then he started the following game versus Brighton, and then after Brighton, I'm looking over the, the games, we played Southampton, and I can't remember if he played or not, I think he may have, and then uh, we played Watford, and he had to come off with an injury, and he's never played since. He made his uh, competitive debut in the Cup game versus Nottingham Forest, and... I haven't seen enough of him and I do really like Yoshinori Muto. I like the way he works hard and it is going to be tough for him to get inside after Rondon scoring goals. Perez is finally to maybe get something now. But we're signing players and not playing them. Like, I know he's had a couple of games. He scored against Man United and people are saying, people say that he's not overrated but people say he's like good uh, for our side and people say he's not good I no one can really tell we haven't given him a shot and he went to the World Cup he didn't he started one game in the World Cup I think it was for it was a final group game and I watched it and I thought he played really really good and that's when obviously uh, teams wanted him West Ham wanted him we want him I guarantee if he was in the West Ham team now he would get a little bit more ahead of Chikori Hernandez at the start of the season. But Yoshinori Muto, I hope to uh, see him get some more game time. And next we're going to be talking about Jacob Murphy. So now Jacob Murphy, he's played a couple of games this season. And when I'm recording this, it's on Monday night. And we played Everton last Wednesday. He had a really, really good performance. He got the assist for Rondon's goal. And then he wasn't in the squad for the Wolves game. Surely something happened, surely an injury or something happened because you don't take a performing team like Murphy out of the side. Atu played against Wolves, he started against uh, Everton and he played against Wolves. I do really, really like Jacob Murphy as a player and with Richie had a good game versus Wolves, yes, but he hasn't been great all season and... We've never really given Murphy a chance in the uh, starting lineup. Richie's got that position stuck, and I do want to see Murphy in the side a lot more. He's a creative player. He can create something. He's a bit skillful. He he, he provides something new, and, and you could see he's better off the bench. But Rafa Benitez doesn't even bring him on. But Jacob Murphy, I think he's a really really good player. We signed him last season for twelve million pound. It's a big buy for us. Uh, like, look at the teams like West Ham, Wolves. This Wolves spent eighty million on a sub player. I know he started against us there, Doma Traore, but that's only his third start for Wolves in the Premier League. Twelve million pounds for Murphy. If they said Do you want twelve million back for him, I would. But we write too many players off at this club. Look at Flaniano Tovan. Had one year at the club, he done absolutely nothing for us because he didn't get the game time. Goes to Marseille, has a really good season, he gets selected for the World Cup side and he's holding the World Cup. He might not be in the key player there, but he's holding the World Cup for God's sake. He's obviously done something good to get called up in the French side. Come on man, we need to see players like Murphy in the side. And now we're going to be talking about a Frenchman, Florian Lejeune. So now Florian Lejeune, he hasn't played any games this season with an injury in trading, I think it was. Uh, we signed them last summer from Ibar 
and last season he was solid. Him and Lascelles were a fantastic partnership, but with the signings of Shaw, really, really good. Fernandez, really, really good. Lascelles hasn't been that good so far this season, but we know that he can turn up in the last couple of weeks. It might have just been an off week for him. When Florent Lejeune comes in, back into the team, it's going to be hard for him, and he'll have to work to get in the back in that starting lineup because it's not going to be like a walk in. He's actually going to walk into the team. He's going to fight for that position, and it's going to be hard for him. It really, really is. But with his performances last season, we're obviously going to think he can come into the side and help us. But it has. When I heard about the injury, I was gutted. He's had two major injuries with Newcastle now. That one at the first game of the season, his debut for Newcastle, about 20 minutes in, Harry Kane comes in the back of him and he's got a massive cast all over, uh, over his foot. And then he gets an injury in the uh, summer and it's not good. I, I didn't even know he was an injury prone player. I, I normally like to say that because it's interesting because if he is, it's going to be hard for getting, getting him in the team. But Florent Lejeune is a fantastic player, as we know, and I hope when he comes in, uh, back from injury, he can come back on the side. Really, really good. Calm on the ball. We know what he is. He's a similar defender to uh, Shaw. Uh, likes to ping the ball long. He likes to defend really, really well. Get a couple of yellow cards and stuff. But uh, anyways, people, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Follow all my social media links in the description. And big game on the weekend. You'll see some videos uh, on Wednesday and Thursday and such. And obviously the match on Saturday against Huddersfield. But anyways, people, thanks for watching the video. Leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.